What's up you guys? Really excited to get this video done for you guys today. I just got back home from being out of town for work. I'm a little exhausted, but today is my day off, so so no better time to film than on my day off. And it's like I went shopping overseas without having to go overseas. <laughs> so I recently picked up some shoes from Harvey Nichols, I believe the name is. I actually heard of this very phenomenal department store from one of my dear friends, Oz, who uh, is Modison on Instagram. I was browsing on the website not that long ago and um, I stumbled upon something I wanted to pick up for myself. So it's really cool. It got delivered here within, so you know, I live here in Southern California and it got delivered to me probably within four or five days. Um, and it was through DHL, everything. It was a great, it was a great experience, and um, I really like the attention to detail that Harvey Nichols gives. So I would definitely buy more of my designer things for them in the future. And I really just like the presentation because it really feels like I went shopping at the store, but in reality, I just ordered online. So I think that's really, really cool. From the bag to the ribbon, everything was just really, really impeccable. So let's go ahead and get started with everything and. Oh man, I'm excited to show you guys these shoes because I've actually wanted these shoes for a very, very long time and I actually wanted to buy a pair of Buscemi's, gave it away, for a very, very long time. I was pretty crossed on what style to get, what, uh, the 100 mm the 125s, but I did pick up my first pair of Buscemi's and who got me onto Buscemi was my dear friend Donovan, who is Makeup by DG here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he owns two pairs of Buscemi's now, and every time he wears his shoes, I'm like, I need your damn shoes. <laughs> so um, it was only a matter of time before I got my own. And um, this was one of the shoe brands I was missing from my very, very large collection. So I'm actually really, really excited to have them with me now. So, so the Buscemi's right here come in this forest green, like hunter green box with the Buscemi feather um, and the Buscemi logo and this, you know, foiled embossing. Very, very nice. Really, it's really gonna stand out in my sneaker collection because um, I don't have a box this color in my collection, clearly. And it has all the information right here. 100 mm, black on black, 42 size, US 9 or a 42. Now keep in mind on the Harvey Nichols website, they do everything by UK sizing. So in UK sizing, I am a size eight. And this, I had the same issue with this when I picked up my Gucci loafers. Um, I was like, oh, I'm a US nine or I'm 42. And then it says UK eight. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Cause if a size eight shoe arrives to me, this thing's not gonna fit. So have no fear. I believe UK sizes run a full size down from American. So if you are a US nine in American shoes, you will be a UK 8 or you will be an Italian 42. Just as a size reference, in Christian Louboutin Louis flats, I either wear a size 42 or 42 and a half. These fit more like a Louis flat in 42. Um, I would assume the 43 maybe fits more like a 42.5 going on to 43. So just so you know, I do prefer the 42.5 Louis flats just on a long wearing term basis. The 42 fits perfectly, but I don't want to say it's snug, it's just there's no breathing room, it's the perfect size of your foot with no gaps. So if you want a little gapping in your shoe size, um, 42.5 and the Christian Louboutin Louis flats is what fits me. Now in reference to these, a Buscemi 42 for me fits exactly like a Louboutin 42. It's the perfect size, there is no room for gaps really, I mean there is a little bit of room in the toe box area. But this is a very almost narrow sneaker, so it's a perfect fit. There's no room for there's no room for nothing. <laughs> it's a, just a perfect fit. And if you can recall the video I did with Donovan, um, he bought the color Guts, which is such a funny name, but it's actually the ox bloody red ones. And I picked up the black ones. So they come packaged like this. Nicely soft and everything. Buscemi, two dust bags that say Buscemi in gold. And I mean, just look how they package this. It's it's brand new. Wow, I love that. That's that's security for me because then I know I got like a full brand new spanking new shoe. So let's go ahead and undo it. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. 
Oh man, these things are nice. And they're stuffed with like shapers and everything. They really did well. Harvey Nichols A plus for that one. So these are the Buscemi 100 MMs in the black color ring with gold hardware. I mean, these things are like a work of art. So let's go ahead and dive into the shoe details overall. So this is an uber luxurious shoe. It, the quality of this shoe is second to none. I mean, I would, I would say they're right up there. If not, I don't know. They're just right up there with the Louis flats. I mean, even, even the, the type of leather they use this, this very nice drummed leather almost looks so nice and so scratch resistant. I absolutely love it. Now, you'll probably notice something about this shoe. This resembles a very famous designer handbag. I'm pretty sure I know which one we're talking about. Um, so it has a handle right here, basically like a handle to a handbag. You have your Buscemi lock right here, which the lock does actually come off if you wanted to because you have your keys that reveal, that actually undo the lock right here if I can pop it out. So there is the key right here. I'm pretty sure you can see it. It does actually fully come out, but I'm just going to close it for now. You do have the lock twist right here, which these do actually come off. And it is a traditional lace shoe. And in the inside it says Buscemi, made in Italy, size 42. This sneaker is unlike anything else really. And this shoe for me is, is unlike any other sneaker I really own. It's a whole different aesthetic. It's a whole different design. Um, this is for me a very timeless sneaker. And I'm really happy I got it in the black coloration because this is just something I want to wear all the time. Very easy to dress up. I mean, you could probably wear some really nice tailored pants with it with a black turtleneck or even like a black blazer with a white button-up shirt and a black skinny tie and you know, and you know, really go for that really street, smart, edgy look. And I really love the Buscemi's a lot. Now, would I add more colors to my collection? I would probably pick up the staple colors, the reds, the blues, the blacks, but I wouldn't probably be too adventurous with this shoe because I'd rather go to other designers for being more adventurous and wild with my shoes. That's not to say though, they do make some really, really fun shoes and there is a like fringed native Indian um, pear looking shoe that I want from Buscemi. Um, you know, just a gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. I will go ahead and take out the other one right now. So it's a gorgeous shoe. Again, I will be showing on foot video of the shoe at the end of the video. Um, but I just wanted to give a close up and talk about them because I think that's what's really important. Um, there is a 125 mm version of these shoes, which is a little bit higher than this. I do like it, but what that shoe is missing is the gold buckling right here um, and the gold hardware right here. Just want to say the Harvey Nichols shopping experience was super duper dope, super nice, super attention to detail, super just amazing. And they're not paying me to say this. Um, I bought everything with my own money, I promise. And um, I would just really recommend it because if you are a guy like myself or even a girl and you want to buy maybe a different selection of curated designer items that aren't sold in the States, these European websites, in specific Harvey Nichols, is a really great place to shop at because because you will have a different selection than what's normally sold to us here in America. Not to say these are hard to find because I could order these from the Buscemi website directly, but I really wanted to explore a different retailer versus ordering from a Buscemi website directly. Um, so Harvey Nichols was the exploring choice for me and I don't regret it at all. So and I'm going to finish up the video and shut up so I could go ahead and do the on foot video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any other videos from me in the future or if you have any specific requests, I do kindly ask you to leave them in the comments down below. And as always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.